Good morning, good afternoon, hello everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day, night, whatever it is for you. Um, today we've got a bit of a special video. We're going to verse one of our subscribers. Um, just waiting to get connected at the moment. I'll get back to you when we're sorted. Okay guys, so here we go. We've found each other. We've got a bit of anything goes happening. Just going to use my OU team just for a bit of fun. Let's see how this goes. Ooh, it's got a bit of an interesting team there. A lot of UU, some IU in there. I feel like he's going to lead with Toxapec. He's also got no resistance to Earthquake, so I think I'm free to lead with Landris and go for Earthquake. Um, you can obviously send in either um, Araquanid. No, he's just going to let Anthros die. That's all good. Probably for Alligator or Araquanid coming in. That's probably... No, Chandelure. I'm going to go for an Earthquake again. Okay, that goes down as well. Surely now for Alligator. Araquanid. Perfect, that's good. Um, at this point, my team against this. Uh, Araquanid, the least likely thing I'll need is my Heatran. So I'm just going to swap back into that just so I have Landris for the Toxapec because those things are frustrating to deal with. Um, got a bit of a strategy about to happen here. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. Let's see what he goes. Hopefully, okay, perfect. Thought I think he thinks I may have been a mega. Um, thankfully, no need for megas. Um, and this should take him out. The supersonic size strike, and it does. Um, lovely little moxie boost there. That's gonna boost our attack. Um, yeah, it's looking quite good at this point. Um, who's he going to send in? Either the Toxapec or the Feraligator? No, Snorlax, that's all good. I'm just going to go for the Waterfall. It's got a chance to flinch, which would be awesome. Um, oh, he's got the Frustration. That is a strong Snorlax. Um, hmm. I don't really need Gyarados, so I'm going to go for the Waterfall. Hoping for a flinch, obviously. Didn't get it, doesn't matter. So now I'm going to send in Thunderous. I'm just gonna go for a nice easy Thunderbolt. Should be able to take it out from here. Um, then I don't think it really matters what he sends in now. Uh, it's looking like it's gonna be my game. Um, but good game to Super Swift 83. I may have had a bit of an overpowered team, so I'll request a re-invite and I'll use one of my other teams. Because, yeah, that, that, that was just a little overpowered at the moment. Good game anyway. And let's see if we can find another game with him. Hey guys, back again. We've got another game with Super Swift 83 I'm Gonna switch it up and use a different team this time. Should be fun. Oh, he switched teams as well. That's awesome. What's he got going on? Awesome. So let's go with... Got a bit of a stally um, sizzle set. It's not too bad. Bit of a warm. But yeah, let's see how that goes. Um, hopefully a good game. Both got similar strength teams by the looks of it. Got some overused in there. Looks like it might be a Mega Venusaur at the moment. He's going to lead with Rebombi, which is perfect for me because Bullet Punch is going to do a lot of damage. He's got the Sash, maybe a Sticky Web. Hidden how fire. I still managed to live that, which is awesome. So Bullet Punch again, get the kill. Might be able to get a roost off with him later in the battle. I would probably send out either Bishop or Venusaur. 
probably wouldn't have done Golurk because this knockoff's going to do a lot. Um, oh, he's the Rocky Helmet. That's a good, good play. Good play. Oh, power punch on the Rocky Helmet. That's really cool. Um, I'm going to send in Kruk. Nice choice calf, Kruk. And I'm just going to go for a crunch. Actually, no. Go for the Earthquake. Should be able to knock it out. Get that Moxie boost. Awesome. Now, he's probably going to go Dusknaw, I would say. Or Venusaur. They would be my two predictions. Yeah, lovely. I'm feeling like a Willow Wisp is going to come. So I'm going to send in Volcanion because he can't get burnt. No, Ice Punch. I did. Oh, when he gets the freeze. I think I thaw though using Steam Eruption. Yep, so awesome. And that does a lot. And you get the burn as well. He's got Earthquake, that burn helping us there. Um, and just going for the Steam Eruption again. Venusaur or Snorlax probably coming in next. Um, obviously Venusaur resisting the water but or Snorlax I'm gonna go for it again I know he's specially bulky but potential burn on the next one will really help out getting rid of his wiki berry there very helpful um, meaning pretty much everything now is going to be able to hit him pretty hard. I'm going to send in Kruk again. In case you didn't know, I like Scarf Ground types. They seem to always do really well against teams. I kind of want to save my Kruk for the Bishop, but that comes in, which is perfect. Don't need to worry. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Should be able to Oko, unless he's got a Sash, but the Rumbombi was Sash, so not many people would use two of those, but yeah, let's see how this goes. Do get the Oko, awesome, and now for the Venusaur. It's going to be neutrally effective because of the poison typing, so we're going to see how this goes. Oh, 666. Six, six. Devil's number right there. Okay, perfect. So, looks like he's got a bit of a story set on the Venus or maybe. But unless he's got Protect and some chance of me missing. And that's another good game there. Nice work to Super Swift 83. Um, yeah, we might see if we can play another game with him. This has been a lot of fun. And we'll see you back when we get into another battle. Okay, so... I think I'm going to go with another team. i have a quick look through. I'm going to go with this, this one. Okay, Super Swift 83. I'm feeling he loves his Snorlaxes around here. That's awesome. Very popular Pokemon at the moment in the VGC section. With the Trick Room, the Wikiberry, and the Belly Drum. It'll be interesting to see what sort of set this is at the moment. I'm going to lead with my Pidgeotto. Just, oh sorry, Pidgeot, just because he's fast and he's got a few Pokemon, mainly the Infernape and the Ludicolo, weak to flying, um, which both get outsped. So it'll just be good to be able to hit hard with a Hurricane. And of course, it is a Mega, so he gets that lovely boost from the um, No Guard. Luxrays are usually pretty slow, so I'm going to U-turn out into, I'm feeling like either Kruk or Mamoswine just for the obvious ice move, oh sorry, um, electric move. I'm going to go into Mamo just in case he did Ice Fang, he didn't, that's good for me. Oh, he's got the flame or that might make things difficult. I'm fairly fast, so I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Awesome, get the knockout on the Luxray there. Either the Ludicolo or the Infernape could probably come in. Alakazam. I'm going to go for a knockoff, just in case he goes for a setup move. Um, 
the focus blast, and he gets the hit. Krug's coming in. He's going to do what he does best. I feel like an earthquake's going to hit, uh, kill, yeah. Now, here's Scarf, but I'm feeling Infernape Scarf for him. Um, so either that's coming in or the Ludicolo. Yeah, so the way he brought that in so confidently tells me that it's probably going to be Scarfed. Uh, and it will outspeed the Krug. Um, so I'm going to send in Latias. Um, cool. That does a lot. He's going to outspeed. So there's no real point in me. I'm going to go for the Z Hydro Vortex. Just in case he stays in. Sorry, just in case he switches out to Muck. Yeah, I'm not really sure what his play is here. He's... Minus uh, defense and special defense, he's staying in. And he wasn't scarfed. That's interesting. That was well bluffed by him because I could have just earthquake there and okayed him pretty easily. I'm pretty free to go for a calm mind here. Ice Beam's not going to do too much and I can recover off the damage. Obviously, he might get a crit. Ooh. That does more than I was expecting with the life orb, but that's fine. Just going to recover up some da uh, of the HP. Um, hopefully no freeze. One more recover, and then I think it's safe to go for a... Uh, actually, no. One more... No, we'll go Psy Shock just so we're not stalling out too hard. And that gets the kill, which is nice. Um, Muck's looking pretty dangerous at the moment. Just being able to send that in with no real threat. But he goes into Snorlax. I'm just going to get the damage off with the Psy Shock. Um, hitting on the defense, which is obviously Snorlax weaker. Um, yeah, that's a, a little bit of damage. But he's going to have the wiki. So I'm going to send in Krug to make sure we just get that wiki berry off. So we don't need to think about it. Just get it out of the way. Um, oh no, he had leftovers. I should have probably seen that. This will kill, which is fine. Well, he's sending in Muck. Get rid of his Assault Vest. Creek is pretty important. So I'm going to send in Volcanion. Oh, he gets... Oh, well played. Gets the Pursuit off. Still, just going to go into the Volcanion. He doesn't have his... Um, assault vest, so that's going to go down pretty easily. It is a choice specs Volcanion, which is pretty deadly. And steam eruption again. Nice kill. Awesome. Another good game by Super Swift 83. And we'll get back into it with another battle. Okay, guys, well, Super Swift 83 is heading to bed. Um, he was lovely enough to stay up all these battles um, he's in the US and I'm in Australia so that 10 hours difference there so really appreciated to him anyway guys I'm off now thanks for showing up if you've got any advice I am new so please feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see uh, anyways 